So here's another, I'm doing another video now. Um, I did one earlier tonight, on, earlier today on on showing you the different sounds of the kalimbas. And, and now I think it'd, it'd be helpful to show you a little bit about how they're tuned. Because how I go about tuning them is if you ever own one yourself, you're going to want to um, be able to to tune it to whatever music you'd like to play with it. Now I tend to tune them in a, a pentatonic or a close to a pentatonic scale, which is a five tone scale, which roughly would be the black keys of the piano. Like think about them, the black keys. But I don't tune them exactly that way. And I tell you why is because I, I use them to try to fit into something that I'm doing. So I have a tuner on here, right? There's the A, okay? There's A note. Now, if I if I'm trying to tune into a key that I play in, then I I need to find the key that I want to play in first, and so I have to make sure my other instruments are are in tune to it. So oftentimes I can do it with the keyboards, like a piano or a keyboard, and find a, a really true note for that way. Or if you have a tuner for your guitar, find a true note. Or if you have one of those those little tuning forks. A is a common note note for tuning pianos and violins with, but um, quite frankly, um, C and G are probably more common notes to play in. Um, this this kalimba here is tuned in a kind of a, a C scale. Now I say a kind of a C scale. I'll play play on my guitar, if you remember that sound that it was. Don't get fooled, I'm up the neck and so this is a C. So there's a C, and there, here. Okay, so let's say you like to play in C, then you have to adjust the notes that you play to all fit within the, the, the scale of the C. Here's a kalimba right here that is not in tune to any particular um, it's probably C sharp it's probably tuned to and let's just say I don't like C sharp because I don't play in C sharp much you'd have to use a capo all the time to play it in C sharp maybe you do like it so the point is is that you have to adjust the length of the keys like if I want to move it down to a C I would take it and I would adjust the length of the key down a little bit. Now I'm going to try to show you this. It's hard to show you. Okay, that's probably pretty close to a C. It helps if you can hear the tones. That's sharp, flat.
little flat and then that's a little sharp. That's what. The further I pull them this way, the flatter they go. The further I pull them this way, the sharper they go. And a little bit makes a lot of difference. So. So here's, here's the G chord. And here's like a C mode, I mean a C chord, excuse me. takes playing around with it but as you can see it's it's all a matter of how far it sticks out from this point right here how far it sticks out and if you watched how I did it I just kind of took the key and kind of wiggled it in or wiggled it out a little bit there's not a whole lot of pressure on this there's enough pressure to keep it tight down on here and not letting it buzz onto the fret but um, there's enough play in it that you can slide them in and slide them out now depending on your strength of your hand and stuff. But my hands aren't particularly strong. I don't have calluses much anymore. So you can do it. It can be tuned. But um, it really depends on what you want to play it with. The reason why I have myself multiple Ambiras or Kalimbas is because I like to play in different keys. I, I Sometimes I like to play in C. That fits in nicely with Kate's concertina. But maybe I like to play in D sometime, and and um, if I want it in D, then I need to change the mode on the on the do it. And then there's a possibility too, and I'll just show you this real quickly. It doesn't have to be major tuned; it can be a minor, like a. Okay, this this one's tuned pretty nicely in A. I don't want to mess it with it, but let's see about this one. I'm not going to check change that one right now either. Just some of them are, are kind of nicely in tune. I spent some time getting them tuned. I don't want to necessarily change them. But um, okay, here's one here that I'm going to try to change into a minor tuning. wasn't long enough that's that's an issue sometimes I pulled the key right out of there this key wasn't long enough to fit in there and you can hear it but I need a longer key for the next note so um I don't want to take the, all the time and run it so long but I wanted to show you that you can tune it in a minor mode you can tune it in a major mode you can tune it to a diatonic scale which is like do re mi fa sol la ti do which is nice because you can pick out little melodies on it that you can hear. Or you can even tune it to a chromatic scale. Now the problem with a chromatic scale and these types of instruments is that they, the, these instruments work on vibrations that are, are harmonically in tune with each other. I don't know if you know about overtones, but overtones are, are the notes that kind of come off the note that pick up and amplify and, and, and build on on other notes that are in the scale. 
And so a harmonic, you've probably heard on the guitar where the, it rings and it makes this real clear ringing tone. Well, the harmonics are, are vibrations that are within the note. Let's say I'm in C, or maybe there's a G that's in there too that sounds really good in there. So it when you put you play the thing, then if, the, if you have a G, a G as one of the other notes on it, it sounds good. But if you go to C sharp, the harmonic for C sharp is really different and dissonant with. Dissonant means it fights against. It's the vibrations fight against each other rather than sympathetically working with each other. And so it, it gets to the point where it kind of cancels out the sound of the instrument. It makes it so it's, um, it, 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 every, all the sound, it, it, the word I want to use is cacophony, cacophony, which is basically all of these different sounds that are fighting against each other. Kind of like the United States um, government right now. But any, sorry about that. But um, the point is, is that um, it's really an issue of, do you want harmony? And if you want harmony, then you need to leave space between the notes. And so that's why the pentatonic scale is the most harmonic scale there is. It's just all the notes fit comfortably in our, our sense of harmony. And that's why I often use a pentatonic or five-tone scale. That means five notes to a do, 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 re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. And um, think of it in terms of the black keys of the piano. And if you build your tuning off of that, or off of a variation of there, um, the harmonies, and these are all sustained, and it sounds really, really good. But anyway, I don't want to take any more of your time. Thank you for listening. And if you have any questions, um, please send them to me on the, on the, just on your comments. And I'll try to try to answer them next time I do a video on how to tune and how to play a kalimba.